So today we have how many students here? 30 something students. Welcome for this learning. Yay. Okay, just now I mentioned uh, about the, the book uh, that your parents can consider purchase. Uh. I'm going to show you, show you this book. It's actually very useful. I've actually encouraged some school teacher to buy it. Okay, I published this book uh, this year. It's Mastering P5, P6 Science Open-Ended Questions to Investigative Reasoning. So those are some of the questions I have uh, given you uh, some trial on it. And actually this book, uh, I have written to the school. This is a content page, you can take a look here. So it's you about 100. Yeah, I'm the author. La. Yeah, I wrote a book to help wow. students to master and to love science. Okay, so this is a content page. Okay. And then uh, remember this one I remember this one I mentioned earlier, this one? What you need to know, describe, explain, all this. Okay. Later I will send this to the to the chat group, to the file so they can receive some of the sample pages. Remember this one, the master chef recommendation. I asked you to memorize this one. So you receive this one. Okay. And then this question, uh, during your free time, uh, you can use your phone, scan the QR code. Okay, this will lead you to my YouTube channel, where I'll be actually explaining, uh, helping students to understand how to answer this question. Because maybe after this lesson, you may have forgotten. Okay. So you can actually revisit by scanning the QR code, visit the YouTube channel. Okay. okay. These are some uh, MCQ questions, which are actually quite good, which can be expanded into section B questions. Okay. And then here, uh, the next one, uh, this one is actually, okay, this one, let me enlarge a little bit. Uh, let me explain to you. Uh. You can see the screen. Okay. Okay, you notice here, on the left-hand side, this is P5, P6 topic, right? Can you see uh, this topic, I put 204 cars, huh? 2020, which is this year. Do you see this part, nail, right? Because this topic, I'll remove. Okay, this topic, I'll remove. Huh? So this is what I expect that we tested more. Heat and temperature. Okay, in booklet B, they may raise up to 15%. That means heat topic which you learn in primary four, primary five, right? You need to put in more attention to answer heat question, heat and temperature question. And then this one, uh, forms and uses of energy, 11.4%. And also this one, uh, forces, 11.4%. So my, my advice is, if you want to do well in your PSLE, uh, uh, these are the topic you should put more emphasis in. This one, heat and temperature, forms and uses of energy, and forces. Okay, the reason because this, this in the pink one, uh, these topics are removed. Okay, they are removed from this year PSLE. So uh, SCAB, uh, they need to redistribute these marks uh, to other topics. Because you see from other years, uh, 2019 on top, 2018 and 2017. These topics are heavily tested. Can you see here? 13.6% heat topic. 2018 also, section B, 13.8%. Uh, Forms of energy in 2019 last year, 9.1%. 2018, 9.1%. And this one even more, 11.4%. Okay, and forces. Okay, forces last year actually test very little, uh, only 2.3% uh, last year. Okay, because uh, they tested more on the other topic. Can you see uh, this one? Last year I have this topic, 11.4, uh, but now this year don't have this one really. Uh. This year don't have this. Don't have the living together, don't have this food chain, don't have this one, and don't have this one. So this one will be more the forces. Okay, as you see subsequent year also, right? The 2018 paper. 2018 paper, forces is 9.1%. Okay? 
and then for 2017 also 9.1 yeah this is how i come up with this forecast in 2020 okay to help students and parents to understand is it, it may not be a good thing to remove the topics because for me as a teacher i find that this topic actually quite easy to un answer one okay in the past uh, my students score a lot of marks from here so now this year they've removed this that's mean they have to do better in other in other topics understand so that's why i bring this out to show you all okay so this is another question uh, let me minimize it. You can see the whole question. Okay, we got this year is COVID-19, right? <laughs> so you notice I, in, I injected some farm element uh, into my question. There is this anti-COVID-19 virus diffuser. So you can see how this, this mechanism can work or cannot work if certain things being adjusted to here. Okay. And then, uh, you know, this year got a lot of dengue cases, right? Mm. So I also put in one question here about, about uh, dengue okay. one. Okay, this one. Whoa. Yeah, about dengue cases. Yeah, we, hey, by the way, now uh, in Singapore, uh, as of now, we already hit more than 20,000 dengue cases. Uh. Okay, more than 20,000. It is the largest dengue outbreak in Singapore dengue history. Dengue sucks. Yeah, so we have to... Yeah, because sometimes they may ask you to interpret the graph. Okay, example, oh, yeah, possible OEQ, uh, real example, which week in 2020 has the highest number of dengue cases. So according to the graph, it's week 25. Uh, okay, if you enlarge it and see. Suggest how does the amount of rainfall affects the number of dengue cases? So you know mosquito legs in water, right? Yes. Uh, so you can say that the higher the amount of rainfall, the greater the number of dengue cases. Uh. Okay. Then the explanation is this, as mosquito lay eggs in water, the greater the amount of rainfall creates more puddle water for mosquito to lay eggs. Yeah. So nowadays, we try to set question related to our surrounding, our environment. So this is a back page of my book. Very cool looking, right? Okay, okay this person here is quite unique. Eh? You see this man here? He was a former U.S. astronaut. Last year, I got an opportunity to, to meet him because he came to Singapore. They have this, like a NASA space camp. So I, I volunteered as a mentor there. So it's a privilege to meet somebody who has traveled in space. Okay? His name is here. You can, you can Google. U.S. astronaut Dominic Antonio. Okay? He was actually the space, you know the U.S. got one space station in space called the International Space Station. Yeah. So this man uh, here, he actually, he was a commander of the space station, but he already retired. So last year he came to Singapore to inspire uh, those young students, minimum 12 years and above. Uh. So I brought some of my P6 students last year after PSLE to attend this camp. Actually this year they wanted to come, but because of COVID-19, they cannot come. So does, does the astronaut person earn a lot of money? Definitely, uh, because usually this US astronaut, right, they are former fighter pilots in the US. So they are selected because the selection test is very tough. Not only that they can fly the fighter jet well, uh, because they are controlling a multi-billion dollar space station. Yeah. But he has retired, uh, so he go and give talks all around the world. A billion dollar? Huh? Million dollar. Yeah, maybe he's he's paid at least a million dollar a year <laughs> in, in the past. Yeah. Okay, so this this is a book your your parents can consider ordering for me. Uh, this book. That's why I mentioned this part. It's a very uh easy to master book because this book I focus on answering open ended questions. If you like, you can also help to order for your friends. Okay, so this book I use for my training purpose, just published this year. Okay, so now I return back uh, to one portion. I stop the screen sharing first. Uh, yeah, how much oh, somebody asked me how much, so I, this week I'm giving promotion. 
The book actually sell outside the bookstore at fourteen dollars. So if you order before this Saturday, right, it's only twelve dollars, including wow. I send I mail to you, you no, know? because wow. in the past I charged the postage. So this year, I mean this week we celebrate National Day uh, So make everyone happy. <laughs> I also yeah, have so videos. How much have you earned so far from selling these books? Wow, it's a very good question. Uh. I will tell you secretly. <laughs> okay, tell me to the please. I wish that all the students in Singapore, uh, P5, P6 will buy. Uh. Then you'll be my ambassador. Then I can share the money with you. Watch, <laughs> wow, share the money, please. I want the money, please. Yeah, I can, I can help you to start a business. So science is very interesting. Uh. Okay, science is very interesting. I hope you can be inspired uh, to learn science. Okay, because I've been teaching science for 20 over years. So I like to inspire students to enjoy, enjoy learning science. Yeah. Actually, PSL is quite, quite fun. Uh. It's helping you to appreciate science. You see my background behind. Uh. This is the new P way. Uh. Actually, in Singapore, you cannot see such beautiful stars. If you go to uh, New Zealand, even some parts of Indonesia where the surrounding lights, uh, there's, there's no light pollution. We can see a beautiful background of the Milky Way. These are yeah. the galaxies. Yeah, I haven't seen it, the actual one. I only see it from the photographs. But some of you may be lucky enough uh, to travel to those places where the sky is very dark. At night, you actually can see this thing, the Milky Way. Who have seen that before? Anyone have seen that before? Only in the young scientists. No, no, I mean, maybe some of you, your parents brought you to such exotic places. No. Yeah. No. You know, in some part of Indonesia, you can see, you know, Indonesia. Oh, wow. Indonesia, some parts near the mountainous area, you can see such beautiful, uh, beautiful skies in the night. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I say science is very interesting. <laughs> 